Hanging basket frame, game changer. Welcome to Hanging Basket Paradise. Simple DIY frame, lovely and sturdy. It can hold up to eight hanging baskets. And we'll go through the season. So we'll start with the strawberries first in February. Get a very early crop of the strawberries. Then I'll transition on to summer. So we'll be doing flowers, probably lettuce, and then lettuce again into the fall, so into autumn. So this time of year, we plant our lettuce up. Slugs can't eat it. And it, it, it's just a, it's a brilliant way to garden. So this is what you want. Nice, strong frame in your polytunnel. It'll hold all the hanging baskets you want, any weight you want, really sturdy. You can do this in the garden as well. You just need two uprights either side, one in the middle. Uh, and you're good to go. You're gardening on the vertical. It's not creating much shade anywhere else in the polytunnel. It's an absolute winner. What was that? I missed out cherry tomatoes. Perfect cherry tomatoes in the summer. Uh, they will absolutely fly in these things as well. In the summer months with the hanging baskets, we use a 12 inch basket. Uh, we put the liner in and we put only a few holes so it holds the water, okay? And it's less evaporation. Can put grit along the top, again, stops the evaporation. And you can also connect bottles with a little drip feed that goes into there as well. So we've got you covered. We'll show you how to make it. Keep watching. It's all about hanging baskets today and we're in the polytunnel as you can see. Uh, and on the side here we normally hang the baskets off the framework. Uh, I have too many. Uh, I love the strawberries and the salad crops in the winter. So we're going to go industrial. I'm going to put a framework all the way across down to the ground and uh, let's see how we get on shall we okay so the first job is to offer up the framework and we simply go in between bars like so and I'll be coming off this framework here, door to door, and then one supporting frame in the middle. Okay, so you wanna make sure these reach both ends nice and evenly, everything's nice and square up top, and then Some screws through okay so now we'll work out how far along we want the bar and then just pop her in now before I level this this trellis is going to be in the way but I have a sliding groove here so I can pop a screw into the middle of it, hold this piece of wood, remove the bracket, remove the trellis and then level it all up. So. Take line from the top down to the bottom. Uh, and we want to go over so we can trim the wood off. Uh, so I'll go in the middle of this plank so it's 190. Now 
now we have the upright, uh, we can cut it to the final height. So, offer it up to the top. Mark it where you want it and cut again. Now we just level up and screw in. Okay, so I've marked out where I want the hooks to go. I'll just drill a pilot hole and screw them in. And finally, the last thing to do is to just put a heavy duty hook into the frame and it's as easy as that thanks for watching if you like this kind of content please subscribe there's loads more of this solid frame for your hanging baskets what more what more do you want